Hello everyone to my channel, and today I wanted to do a video review for this wooden futon frame. So, um, we originally decided to pick this up as basically like a bonus futon slash, you know, area to have something. It's just a generic smaller couch in a basement space that we had in our older home. We recently moved into this newer home, and this actually has a much larger space, so we're going to be putting a couch down here. Um, but that has not arrived yet, so I wanted to spend a little time actually going through this and talk about it. Um, basically, what we ended up doing is actually buying a full mattress here, as you can see. So the frame does not come with a mattress. That's a big thing that you definitely want to keep in mind. We ended up going with this little bit larger mattress, and honestly, I think it was probably a little bit too big. When you fold up the frame, it actually overlaps a little bit on the top, but when you actually have the frame fully down, as you can see here, as you can see here, it pretty much fits perfectly. I believe this one's a full as opposed to a queen. What I'd recommend is maybe getting a mattress that isn't necessarily too thick. This one doesn't look like it's particularly thick, but it is actually quite large when you have the futon folded up. Now I'll actually go through and talk about the frame itself. So you have in the back here, um, and my cat's going to join us here for the review, but you basically have um, a spoke here on the back where when you lift this up, it gives you the option to do three different settings. So I may pause this and actually lift it up in a second so you can kind of see what that looks like. But more or less, when you bring it down, each of these will stay down. And when you bring the unit up, these will be hooked into the back of the unit where you can pretty much um, keep it stable and turn it into an upright couch. Um, the unit's fairly stable. It comes apart, comes apart in two pieces. There are actually bolts that are down here in one of the legs, and those legs allow you to pretty much take out a metal piece that is just a single, almost like a single rod that just goes into the frame. And if you want to separate um, the two pieces, more or less, like this is one part and then the base, you know, the actual part that you're sitting in is a separate part. So this will make for easy movement if you wanted to like take it apart and move it into a different room. It's not too difficult to do that and um, Overall, it's fairly sturdy. Um, I've slept on this. Um, my wife slept on it, and we've even used it for guests when they come over and they need a place to sleep. So I think if you're looking for something in that sub, like $300 range, you want an extra guest bed that could also be kind of turned into almost a couch and um, something that's still going to be comfortable. I've definitely found that this was definitely worth the money. i um, going to actually pause the video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put lift this up and show you what it looks like kind of lifted up so you can see it in couch mode as well. So let me do that now. All right, so I've actually lifted the frame up and this gives you a much better representation of what it looks like up. So on the back here, you can see that you do have two wheels as well. So if you want to move this around, I could even take probably one hand, put my foot here and easily, um, not necessarily easily, but you can actually move this around just based on these wheels. So if I tip it back, I have the wheels to easily maneuver it. There's no wheels on the front. Um, what I mentioned in terms of those locking mechanisms is this is the foot that will come down when you turn it into bed mode, and the only thing holding this together in between the two pieces is a metal rod that comes through here. This has a um, hook on this side, which keeps it from coming out. So you're not going to run into issues with that, at, and that's pretty much what connects the two parts. You also have, um, there's one, two, three, and four of these divots that you can use to actually put the legs. So this will determine how high up the back piece goes. I would probably say you're usually going to be looking at the back two settings right now. I put it in the middle. The biggest thing with this that I've noticed is, as you can see, now that we're in like couch mode, you can see how much of the futon there's almost like two feet worth coming up. And of course, it's a fun cat hazard and play toy. But the biggest thing with this is that now I've got it kind of straight. You can see how much of a gap there is at this point. I could start to kind of crunch this down. And if I move it out a little bit, it'll fit a little bit better. I have to kind of bring it down. And you're more or less going to have to do that. But we still have a substantial gap on the back. This is the only thing I really don't like about the unit, but I don't think there's just a whole lot you can do about it due to the nature, nature of the fact that we're bending it. But at this point, 
you know, if I was to sit on this, I'm not really going to be in a situation where like the mattress is going to come off or anything. It's just that we have a lot of extra up, up above us, behind us. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Just be kind of wary of what you decide to get for a mattress and make sure you get something that is designed for a futon and not like an actual traditional mattress that's going to have an issue bending just like this one does. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this review. If you decide to pick up this futon frame, I'll actually leave a link below so you can grab this. Um, and basically, I'll end up getting a small commission, but you guys will pay the same, so I definitely appreciate that. Thanks for watching.